Hello everybody and welcome to another St. Martin Princess Juliana International Airport Update. Today we have a very exciting, very full St. Martin today to get into. So let's not, let's not waste any further time and get started right here with this aircraft landing on runway 10 right over Maho Beach. We have this KLM 8030-200. This is with the 100 years of flight sticker thing on it. Um, this is uh, a special that they had for their... Uh, 100th anniversary, which was a few years ago, um, and I still believe there's like one or two aircraft that still have this. I think there's, well, I believe there's a 7810 with still a big logo of it. I don't know if there's still any of these smaller stickers. But anyways, this aircraft is coming in from Amsterdam Schiphol, and it will be heading out later to Port of Spain, and then from Port of Spain, it will head out to Amsterdam, all under the uh, KLM 787 flight number. Uh, it does a triangle route like that. Uh, to here in Port of Spain, which is in, uh, I believe that's, I always get that one, and then there's, um, I think I think Port of Spain is in Trinidad. <laughs> I might be wrong because I sometimes get it uh, confused with there's like I mean there's like Fort de France and there there are, there are a whole bunch of cities in the Caribbean that start with uh, the prefix of fort thanks to imperialism everyone's favorite so yeah this one's arriving in from Amsterdam right now and uh this one will be uh taxing over to the terminal later and uh will be the big star there of course gotta love klm right here they're uh, an icon an iconic airline here for st martin uh with their now we through 30s but they used to fly the 747s here and that was truly a sight to behold back when that was happening in the two in like the early 2010s later 2000s uh, that would truly would have been a sight to behold, but now it's with the A330s, and the A330 still looks pretty good, in my opinion. Port of Prince was the other one that was confusing me there, and I did confirm that Port of Spain is in Trinidad, so um, yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes more sense now. Um, yeah, Port of Prince is in Haiti. Uh, anyways, now we'll move on to our uh, this is our Winair fleet right here. We have the older livery that's in the foreground there, the older livery uh, Twin Otter. This one arrived in from St. Barthelemy, and it will be heading back out there. And surprise, surprise, the second one behind it, the newer livery, also is in from uh, St. Barthelemy, but still be heading out to St. Eustatius uh, instead. So uh, some some saints in there, I guess. Um, and, you know, pretty famous airport in, in St. Barth's. Uh, that one's very well known for its runway, just like St. Martin, so... That's very nice right there. And now we'll move on to the main passenger terminal here where we have quite the lineup of aircraft today. And our first aircraft here on the terminal is Sunwing on the 737-800. Since Sunwing won't be allowed too much won't be around too much longer, I want to try to use this aircraft as much as I can before Sunwing gets absorbed back into WestJet. Um and so this that's why this is here again. Unfortunately, Sunwing just doesn't fly into St. Martin all that frequently. I believe they only fly in on Thursdays. So they fly in uh, from Montreal and Toronto, and this is the Toronto flight. So this one is in from Toronto, and it's on the turnaround heading back out there. But yeah, beautiful aircraft here by NG Models, um, and it has definitely served St. Martin uh, very well here in multiple airport updates on the channel. So, And here it is here it is once again. So got to get Sunwing back in here, and they'll well, they'll be missed when, they, when they're gone. But we still have a few more months with them before WestJet, of course, takes over just like I did with with swoop but swoop never flew here to st martin at least not from when i've been making these airport updates so we didn't have a super sad goodbye to swoop but it is too bad that i actually won't be able to include swoop in like any more airport updates because they're i mean they're obviously gone now but i do have a swoop model and i, I personally think the swoop livery looks really cool but obviously that's that's not really that's not really a thing anymore but anyways well i'm kind of ranting here about the canadian airlines um so we'll now move on to some American Airlines because, so including actually American Airlines, because I feel like whenever I say that American Airlines is never part of the fray, but today it actually is part of the fray. So now we'll move on. Now on to our American Airlines 737-800 back there. Uh, this one arrived in from Miami, and this one will be heading back out to Miami on the turnaround. Next to that one here, we have this JetBlue Air Airways. Uh, I don't really know if they're called JetBlue Airways all that much, but that is their official name. Uh, A320-200 
This is in the Mosaic Tale, and this is in it from New York JFK, and it will be heading back out to New York. And our penultimate aircraft here is this Delta Airlines 727 Nash 200. Uh, this one arrived in from Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson earlier, or Citrus Aviations Airport, and this is now going to be heading out to New York JFK. So a nice little pair up of Delta hubs. Both of those, those are the only two Delta routes that are served from uh, St. Martin as of right now. Both on the 757-200, which is really cool because that is a really, very cool aircraft, as we can see right here. And so, yeah, great to get uh, both of Delta's destinations in here on one aircraft, and uh, that being the beautiful 757-200. Can't lose. And our final aircraft is the WestJet, the villain of our story, because they're absorbing Sunwing. Uh, so there's 737-700 filling in for 738. They're not actually the villains of our story, uh, but... They kind of, it kind of seems that way since we were kind of mourning Sunwing before they even died uh, earlier. Anyways, this one arrived in from Toronto Pearson, and it will be heading back out there. So that'll do it for this update of St. Martin. Hope you, I hope you enjoyed this one. Got plenty of variety in here, kind of. I mean, most, I mean, JetBlue American, Delta, even the KLM. That's what we see pretty much on the regular here. But nice to get some variety with the Canadian carriers in here. And we, and we love to see that. So St. Martin, still very cool airport here. Um, and I mean, the updates aren't super frequent. Like we might get one St. Martin a month, but they're, they're still, it's still a very interesting airport here. And uh, you guys clearly seem to like these airport updates. So thank you all for uh, checking these out. These have been, uh, most of these St. Martin updates have, are getting quite popular. So uh, thanks, th thanks to all you guys for, for all the support right there. But yeah, that'll do it for today's uh, airport update. So thank you all for checking this one out. I will see you tomorrow. And as always, good night. Auf Wiedersehen.